welcome back to my channel. This is Heaven's On Adventure. Coming at you from Music City today. We are in Nashville for work. I haven't been in Nashville for work in like a year and a half. It's been a long time. I'm excited to be here. Also, I forgot how early the sunset is here in Nashville. <laughs> so if we lose daylight throughout this video, I did not plan this very well, but I just got here and I'm trying to hurry up and film. But I wanted to take some time to explain the reasoning behind why I went ahead and got my CPA license. I've been asked so many times by people why I decided to get it because my work didn't require getting the CPA. Oh, and if you don't know who I am, my name's Heaven. I've been a CPA for two years. I'm a state auditor, so I'm an external state auditor. I work for the state of Tennessee, so I'm a government employee. And typically in the government, CPA is not really pushed. It's not required. For us, it is strongly encouraged, and I knew that when I hired on, but I could still go my entire career without getting the CPA and be totally fine. Also, I graduated college with 135 credits, so I didn't have the 150 that's required for the state of Tennessee and I think most of the state boards of accountancy. So I did have to go in one summer and take a bunch of extra classes at a community college to get the 150 credits. I'm also a horrible test taker, so me pursuing this exam was a really big deal because I do not test well at all. I never have on any test that I've ever taken. So the fact that I was able to pass the CPA exams, it was definitely the Lord, 100%. The Lord is a miracle worker and he got me through. But I can truly say without a doubt, with all confidence, that if I can pass those exams, you guys can pass those exams. So maybe you're watching this video on the fence about do you want to get your CPA, do you not? Is it worth all the time, the resources, the sacrifice, the money? Because it is expensive, it's not cheap to get. But also, do I regret it? Am I glad I got it? Would I have done anything differently if I went back in time? In case you are new here and you don't know who I am, I am a government employee, I mentioned that, but I, as far as work goes, I 1000% appreciate a work-life balance. I have a million hobbies. I'm an Enneagram 7, if you're into the Enneagram. I don't focus on one task easily. I'm a very outgoing person. I'm very extroverted. I'm very social. I don't fit the mold of your typical accountant. <laughs> and I think that's important because it does play a role in why I decided to get the CPA. So the first main reason is obvious, and I would say it's probably why most people go ahead and pursue the CPA, is the job security the opportunities that are open to you once you get the CPA license. Even though I work in state government, even though CPA is not required where I work, you cannot get promoted past in charge auditor without the CPA license, so no manager. Well, we did have one manager, but he was an exception. So you can't be a manager without having your CPA. And also, the largest audit that we do out in East Tennessee, so I live in Knoxville, even though my office is here in Nashville, the largest audit that we do in our area, the in charge has to be a CPA because of the complexity of that audit and how big and diverse it is. So me knowing when I transferred out to Knoxville and if I plan to stay here long term, I know that the office was going to try and push me to get my CPA so I can in charge that audit. When I graduated college, I was 22, single, living on my, well, I lived with roommates off Craigslist because I lived in Nashville for a year. But then I moved out to Knoxville, lived on my own. So it's kind of like a really good time to go ahead and pursue the CPA exam if I was going to do it. But the whole weighing out the options, I had so many thoughts in my head, as I'm sure you may as well if you're also on the fence. So fast forward, I actually got the CPA and I got got promoted at work. I got a pretty significant pay raise, which is really nice. It was also just exciting to make it through to the other side of getting the CPA. I just want to say there are so many certifications that you can get in accounting, but 99% of the time the CPA is the umbrella over every other certification. Like the CPA is most desirable. It's the most popular. It's the most wanted, most known about. But that's not to say that if you're really into internal audit that you shouldn't pursue your certified internal auditor, your CIA. There's also CGFM for governmental. There's a CMA. There's all kinds of different accounting certifications. So I don't want this to sound like it's CPA or nothing, um, but me being an external auditor and really enjoying being an external auditor, the CPA is the best certification besides like a, a CFE, certified fraud examiner. That's really small. It's really expensive. It doesn't pay much more. It's kind of a money scam to be honest, but CPA is definitely most desirable. And I would definitely say now that I've been in the accounting industry for four years, which still isn't a ton of time, but it's enough time to kind of get my feet wet and figure out what's going on in here. From my experience, the CPA trumps a master's degree. Like the person that's going to get promoted is the person that has a CPA, not the master's degree. Even if you got a master's in accountancy, most people get the master's to get the amount of credits to get the actual CPA license. And that's not, again, there's exceptions to everything. If you're in a job that would really benefit from the degree that you learned for your master's degree, then obviously 
obviously they're going to want you to have that master's degree and that knowledge aside from the CPA exam, the CPA license, which tests mostly accounting. The master's degree could be an MBA, it could be other business opportunities. So it may be something else aside from accounting. So that's not to say everything. There's exceptions to everything. I don't have time in this video to go through all the exceptions of every point I'm going to make. So yeah, the first reason was definitely the job security and the opportunities that the CPA would get you. The second reason I got my CPA license was something a lot of you may not be able to relate to. And it was just, it was a calling on my heart from the Lord. I'm a devout Christian. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And I knew without a doubt that he was calling me to get this license. And I do not know my future. I have no idea what I'm going to do with my life. I don't know if I'm going to work here forever. I don't know if I'm going to work somewhere else in six months from now. I know nothing about the future, but the Lord gave me peace at heart knowing that he was going to prepare me for this exam, that I was going to get through it. And you guys, I failed the first three. This was not an easy process at all. In fact, after I failed the second exam, I had a whole weekend of praying. I cried a lot. I was ready to give up the CPA. I was, I just thought I wasn't smart enough for it, that it was for all the super high IQ students. I can do really well on tests. And the Lord picked me up and he told me that I was going to pass this exam. And I did. And I 1000% give credit to the Lord. So that's something a lot of you may not be able to relate to. But yes, that was number two. It was on my heart from the Lord. The third reason I got the CPA license is because it's kind of the thing that you get in accounting. It is the golden trophy is the CPA. But it was kind of like this unattainable goal. It was just this gruesome, brutal set of exams that people talked about. And I was kind of interested on in the fact like, am I smart enough to do that? How cool would it be to say that I passed the CPA exam? And that kind of was what actually initially started my pursuit of the exams was kind of like this challenge that I didn't think I could do and wanting to overcome that. And if you know me, you know I'm always up for a challenge and I'm always challenging myself to silly things. This wasn't necessarily silly and it cost me several thousands of dollars, but it was probably the biggest challenge that I've ever done. And I also knew that later down in the road, I didn't want to regret not getting the CPA license. And when I started studying, I think I was 22 years old, 23, 22, I think, single by myself, lived by myself. Well, I lived with roommates when I lived in Nashville, roommates from Craigslist. Kind of a sketchy situation turned out to be okay. Okay, but it was fine. Moved to Knoxville by myself. So it was kind of the time to do it. I was early on in my career, so it wasn't super challenging. Although when you start any job for the first time, you're like terrified and you have no idea what you're doing. You're thinking it's really hard. But in hindsight, <laughs> the auto work I was doing when I was new is literally a joke. It is so easy. And now, which hopefully in years later, I'm looking back at the work I'm doing now and I'm like, God, heaven, what were you stressed about? The environment that I was in was very beneficial. It's probably the best time in my life to pursue the CPA exam. I was also on a lot of travel audits. I was traveling every single week, staying in hotels, which sounds awful, but really it was the best time to study because I didn't have any physical distractions. Obviously I have my friends and on my phone and all of that, but physically in a hotel room with nothing here to distract me, it, it was easier on my self-discipline to make me study for the exam. So it's just the timing was good is all I'm trying to say. I also think a big reason looking back about why I decided to get the license was in everything that I've started or everything that I've done, every hobby I've picked up, everything I've tried to do, I've went at it with like a hundred percent effort. I just throw everything into this one little hobby like anytime I've tried anything. And I'm also just a firm believer in that Bible verse. Do everything the best you can as, in, as if you're doing it for the Lord and not for human masters. I completely butcher that Bible verse, but you guys know which one I'm talking about. I think it's in First Colossians. Anytime I spent studying for the exam, I wanted it to be 100% valuable. I didn't want to waste my time. If I'm going to do this thing, I'm doing it 1000%. I'm cutting my life. I'm having all these sacrifices for the time it takes to pass it. And that's exactly what I did. You guys, it was brutal. It's, it's easy for me to say this on the other side, but in the moment of studying for those exams, it was absolutely brutal. For me being a social person, family is very important to me. I had to say no to so many things, hanging out with my friends, and that was so hard. The fourth reason is because the CPA sets you apart. You now have initials behind your name. You're now different. You have something valuable in your industry, in your profession. I have no idea. Like I said, what I'm going to do later in my life, no idea. Only the Lord knows. He could call me to ministry. I could be overseas on any given time. I have literally no idea. But having the CPA forever, it does expire. You have to renew it, but you don't take any more exams. You just have to take little classes to get your professional education and your CPE. So it's forever. And not that I do taxes because I don't. I'm an auditor. But for people who do taxes, if anything happens to your career, you could literally branch out and do your own taxes for people with your CPA license. That's the credibility that you need to be able to sign off on tax returns professionally and give them to the IRS. Like you have something. You have proven that you have excelled in the accounting industry, that you have passed those exams. They joke that CPA stands for couldn't pass again. <laughs> it's 1000% true. But you have proven 
proven that you've been able to pass those exams at least once to prove that you've excelled at this standardized test level. And there is a difference. And I think in the profession, specifically as an auditor, it really has helped tremendously on the respect that you gain from your clients, but also it just gives you credibility that you know what you're doing. I'm also a super goofy person. I am extremely goofy. I'm the goofiest person I know. And I'm in a very kind of serious role as an auditor and I've had many events. I've had some speaking engagements. I've had several interviews in my job. I kind of have this imposter syndrome a lot, even though I'm four years in that I'm too goofy to have the job that I have. Like that really is an insecurity that I have on the daily, especially on my Instagram, because I'm just so goofy. And it makes me thankful that I got the CPA license because if anyone does doubt how the heck did heaven get here? How did heaven even make it to this job? Why is heaven in this role? They'll see my CPA license and be like, oh, okay. So she may be goofy, but she kind of knows what she's talking about. <laughs> The last and final reason about why I got the CPA license was actually an unexpected thing that came out of this was the amount of respect that I have gotten from so many people in the accounting industry, outside the accounting industry. Y'all, outside the accounting industry, no one really knows what a CPA is unless they're somewhat financially sound. Till it comes tax season and you've got the TurboTax commercials, the H&R Block commercials, and they're like, chat with a live CPA today. So many of my friends have been like, oh, we saw a CPA in the commercial today. And I'm like, yeah, get a CPA out there. But even just from like Facebook, my personal friends and family, if one of their friends or family needs some financial advice, needs something going on, they will tag me in a comment. I'll end up getting tagged in these comments, reading these posts. Like, hey, we need somebody to oversee our church's books. Hey, we need somebody to come look at my grandma's estate and all this random financial stuff that people think just because you pass these exams you're all of a sudden know how to do all of these things in the finance world that is not the case but these people think that you know this stuff so they think you know everything when you pass the cpa so even just having those initials kind of makes it worth it for people to think that you know what you're talking about even if you don't. Also, I had no idea years ago that my YouTube channel was still gonna be a thing. I just hit 10,000 subscribers like a few weeks ago. That's exciting, holy cow. And having an accounting kind of grounded channel, the CPA definitely helps me in my personal life and my YouTube. That was kind of an unforeseen thing because I didn't know where my channel was headed. But I've had so many of you that have subscribed to me from the CPA journey yourself. You've told me you've passed it, you've told me you've watched my journey and that me passing gave you the confidence to start studying. And it means the world to me because so many people post YouTube videos, oh my gosh, how to pass the CPA exam in five weeks, how to pass the CPA exam the first time, how to score 90s on every exam. Y'all, that's not me. Your girl scored 275s. I literally had two 75 scores. The lowest passing score you can have. But nobody has to know that. I just told all of you guys, but in the actual industry, no one's gonna ask you what you scored on your CPA exams. All that matters is that you passed. You can have all four of them being a 75, but you passed, you're now a CPA. That's just as good as scoring a 99. They don't give out hundreds or I would have said 100. See so yeah, how you guys, I could ramble on forever. I have a lot of just jumbled thoughts about this whole CPA thing, but I hope it helps you out if you're on the fence about thinking about if you're wanting to get it or not. If you're like older in life, if you have grandkids or your kids are in the house, you feel like you don't have enough time. Honestly, it is a huge time sacrifice. It is time away from your family, your friends. It is a big financial sacrifice. It costs a few thousand dollars when you're all said and done with it. And more than anything, you have to want the CPA. You cannot do this for anybody else. Your spouse can't be cheering you on the whole time and you don't really care if you get the CPA or not. Your parents can't be cheering you on the whole time. You have to want this more than anybody, more than everybody, and you have to believe in yourself. I doubted myself a lot, and I honestly believe that's why I failed the first few exams, is because I didn't really think I could do it. But by the time I failed my third exam, I was defeated, but I was angry. And I went into that fourth retake, ready to punch some people. I was ready to just fight some NASBA. Came in with a vengeance, and y'all, that is how I was able to pass. So yeah, you don't have to be the workaholic, you don't have to be the career-oriented person, the ladder climber to get the CPA. I truly believe it's for everybody. You also don't have to get it. I'm probably the only person out here on YouTube saying, you don't have to get it. Don't feel pressured to get it. I went all four years of college thinking that if you didn't get the CPA license, you were a failure and you're not gonna get paid any money in life. That's not the case. You can be very successful without the CPA license. 
However, it, if you're interviewing for any positions and someone that interviews with you is a CPA, you're not the CPA, most likely the job's gonna go to them unless they're trying to cheap out in some money because they will have they will get to pay you less than they pay the CPA. So just keep that in mind. If you, if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. If you're really thinking hard about getting a CPA or not getting a CPA, I can help think with you, but it's something that only you're gonna know. But yeah, ask me any questions. I'm here, I can try and help any way that I can. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. It is literally dark outside, so I don't know how my camera is showing any light right now, but thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye friends. <laughs>